Hi, I'm Kitty. And I'm Sugar. Welcome to our channel, or welcome back. If you're new here, we tell things from the dog's point of view. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe. Today we're talking about the different markings of a Pomeranian. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we just got a new little puppy, Pixie. Hi, I'm Pixie. In this video, we are going to talk about several different traits of a Pomeranian. Their face shape, their ears, their coat, their tails, and last of all, their size. So stick around to the end and you'll find out why I'm such a big boy. Some of our friends have been so kind to share their pictures with us. There is no way we could name them all. So if you see your puppy's face, please comment below with a timestamp so we can learn all the names. And you can get credit for your picture. And thank you so much, friends, for like sharing your pictures. It wouldn't be the same without all of these excellent faces. Give us a paw up if you agree. She means hit the like button. Now let's get started. The Pomeranian can have three different face types. The fox face, the teddy bear face, and the baby face. Sugar and I both have the fox face. You can see our snouts are a little bit longer. Our faces aren't as full and we appear to look like a fox. When we first got Pixie, we thought she was a teddy bear face. Their snouts are a little bit shorter. But you'll be able to see, as she grows older, Pixie's snout grew too. And she is also a fox face. I'm like, full of surprises. It's surprises. If you had that experience with your palm, let us know in the comments below. What face did your palm end up with? The teddy bear face is the other face shape that is quite common. The teddy bear face's snout is significantly shorter. And the cheeks appear to be fuller and could also be described as a Pomeranian that looks like a bear. The baby doll face is much less common and it looks similar to a teddy bear face Pomeranian, also having a shorter snout. The baby doll face is different in that its head is dainty in appearance, not being as chunky and broad as the teddy bear palm. Fox face, baby doll face, and teddy bear palm faces are not official Pomeranian terms or official types mentioned in the breed standard. These are descriptive nicknames used to distinguish the differences in their faces. If you want to guarantee that you get a Pomeranian that matches the breed standard, you should always purchase from an active show breeder of champions. If you just love your dog for who he or she is, this is a fun way to distinguish between the different looks. Now look at our possum ears! The palm's ears are mounted high on top of the head. They are small and triangular shaped with firm points that remain erect. That's another thing that makes us so freaking cute! Our ears stand straight up. The range of ear size is apparent in the breed, as you can see with all of our friends. In show judging, the smaller ears are more favored, and they look at the position of the ears. Some Pomeranians have very tiny ears. Others have larger ears when compared to the size of the dog. Ear size is genetic, so if you want to know the size of your puppy's ears, look at their parents. Now for the coat! Talk about our killer coats! The most common color for a Pomeranian is the classic orange or red shade, like me. But we like to call it cinnamon. What would you call it? Other colors are black, brown, red, orange, cream, blue, and sable. And eight patterns or markings of black and tan, brown and tan, cream and white, spotted, or brindle. Pretty much all combinations are acceptable to them. The most common palm colors are orange, black, or cream and white. What color is your palm? Tell us in the comments below. But here's another surprise. Our coats can like totally change. It's surprise and it's true. The color you think you're getting as a puppy could be completely different as an adult. Pixie's coat is already starting to change. I am freaking full of surprises. That's the truth. We will talk more about their thick fluffy coats and my not so thick coat in another video when we show our grooming routine. So you might consider subscribing if you'd like to see that. Now our tails. Talk about our sweet tails. Our tails are like so beautiful. It's beautiful or handsome. And yes, they are. Our tails are among the breed's most distinctive features. Our tails curl up over our backs. You can see the curl in my tail really well because it's not as fluffy. Most Pom's tails are feathered and full. I have alopecia, so that's why my hair is so thin. Poor Sugar, it's totally not fair. Our tails lay on top of our backs with long hair fanning out. 
If you know a palm, you know that we are proud of our tails. See my beautiful tail? Enough about fluffy tails. Let's talk about the size of a Pomeranian. According to Kennel Club guidelines, an adult palm should stand between 8 and 11 inches tall at the withers. In the winter? No, at the withers. That means the shoulders. Like, get me with a spoon! Just say shoulders! Now the best part. How heavy can a Pomeranian get? Since 1960, the acceptable purebred Pomeranian weight for a kennel club was 3 to 7 pounds. Like me, I'm 7 pounds. Some modern Pomeranians only reach 2 pounds. These can be called flyweights, pocket palms, or teacup palms. Some people even call them toy palms, but all Pomeranians are actually classified as toy size. At the other end of the scale, Pomeranians, nicknamed throwbacks, can get as large as 10 to 20 pounds. I'm 15 pounds now. I've been 17 pounds. And I'm working really hard to get to 20. 20 pounds? That's like fluffy to the max. I hope I get that big. It's not likely, Pixie. Your parents were both under 7 pounds. So were mine. Throwbacks are another surprise. You may not even know you have a throwback until they just keep growing. Comment below if you have a throwback Pomeranian. You don't see them very often. Kitty, you are so fluffy lucky. I know. Just look at all this fluff. I'm so jealous. When I was younger, I was so beautiful. Sugar, you are still beautiful. That's right. No one is more beautiful on the inside than sugar. Leave Sugar a heart in the comments if you agree. Thanks, guys. And thanks to our friends that are still watching our long video. Now you know why Pomeranians are like, for real, the most beautiful dogs there are. And handsome, too. If you want to see more, just click on the next video.